What happens when chaos meets melody? Picture Gotham's most notorious villain Joker spiraling deeper into madness, but this time with a chilling duet alongside Harley Quinn. Welcome to Joker Folie à deux, the twisted musical sequel that promises to be darker, more chaotic, and just as unforgettable as its predecessor. And here at Semscreen, we're diving deep into this much-anticipated film to see if it lives up to the hype. The film begins in the aftermath of Arthur Fleck's Joachitic Descent into Madness. Gotham is burning, and amidst the chaos, Arthur's Joker finds himself locked away in Arkham Asylum. But this is where Folia Doe takes a different turn, a turn towards the surreal and the musical. As the title suggests, it's not just Arthur who's trapped in the labyrinth of his mind. We meet Harleen Quinzel, Lady Gaga, a psychiatrist whose fascination with the Joker slowly transforms into a dangerous obsession. The story follows the twisted relationship between the two characters, from therapy sessions that morph into dance numbers to violent outbursts backed by hauntingly beautiful melodies. The film paints a picture of two people spiraling together into a symphony of madness. It's a love story, but not the kind that leaves you warm and fuzzy. This is destructive, chaotic, and darkly poetic. One of the biggest risks Folia Doe takes incorporating musical elements into a traditionally dark narrative. Director Todd Phillips masterfully intertwines the heavy themes of mental illness, violence, and societal collapse with a musical backdrop. Think of it as Gotham's version of a Broadway show, gritty, raw, and with an edge that only Phoenix and Gaga could pull off. Joaquin Phoenix's Arthur Fleck is even more unhinged in this sequel, blending his disturbing laughter with unexpected musical performances. Meanwhile, Lady Gaga's Harley Quinn brings her own theatricality to the screen. Her transformation from Harleen Quinzel to Harley Quinn is marked by chilling duets with Phoenix's Joker, filled with passion, chaos, and a shared descent into madness. Visually, Joker Folia Doe stays true to its roots. The gritty, dark cinematography that made the first Joker so iconic returns here, but with a twist. Musical sequences are stylized, drenched in neon lights, and at times completely break away from reality. It's as if the film itself is caught between two worlds, the grim reality of Gotham and the fever dream inside Joker's mind. Thematically, the film explores madness in a new light. While the first film was about Joker's descent into chaos, Folia Doe focuses on shared madness, the idea that love can be just as dangerous and consuming as hatred. Arthur and Harley's relationship is toxic, violent, and symbiotic. Their love is a whirlwind of destruction, and the film doesn't shy away from showing the consequences of their actions. While some fans have praised the film for its daring shift towards a musical, others feel the genre change is too jarring. Audience reactions seem to be divided. Many are mesmerized by Lady Gaga's performance and the chemistry she shares with Joaquin Phoenix, while others miss the grounded realism of the first film. However, everyone agrees on one thing. Joker, Folia Doe, is bold, risky, and unlike anything we've seen before in the world of comic book films. Joker, Folia Doe is not just a sequel, it's an evolution. While it might alienate fans of the first film's gritty realism, it offers something unique, blending a musical with a deeply psychological exploration of love and madness. With outstanding performances from Phoenix and Gaga, this film will leave you both disturbed and mesmerized, much like the Joker himself. It's not just a film, it's an experience. Be sure to subscribe to SM Screen for more reviews like this, and stay tuned for our next deep dive into the world of cinema.